just uh, in general? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to give a three hundred level um, lecture in linear algebra. And actually, what I want to cover is what is a system of linear equations and how to go from that to the matrix form of that system. And from this, I will explain a way of solving that system. <coughs> and while explaining one way of solving that system, we will encounter the problem of inverting a matrix. <coughs> and when we encounter this problem, I will try to explain you what is a matrix, what it means to invert it, when can we invert it, which matrices are invertible, why is this useful, and from this I will introduce uh, many more related topics that are important in linear algebra. So let me start by a simple system of equations. I don't know if, any, if you are familiarized with, familiar with linear equations. I hope you are. So for instance, let's say there are two siblings. One is Mary, the other one is Sue. I will call Mary X, I will call Sue Y. Let's say that mm, they are both daughters of a of, a, of their father and their father gives them the same amount of money and together they have exactly let's say three dollars okay so we'll say that x plus y the money that mary has and the money that sue, sue has is actually three dollars then we can have further information about mary and sue or more specifically the money they have and we can know for instance that <coughs> Um, yeah, the amount of money that Mary has been given. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Okay, <laughs> I wanted to write this down. <coughs> and, and these are dollars. Yes. Okay. For instance, we could say that both of them are in dollars. Okay. I will not explain the second equation. <laughs> you were trying to. Yeah, I was trying to, but there is a problem in my experience. So, so all the siblings get $3, and Mary gets three times as much dollars. You, say you don't want to explain it. No, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I was, I was trying to say, so... Or Sue no, gets I forgot exactly my reason, but like, I wanted to do some, something like... Yeah. Like, three times the amount of money that Mary has been given by her father. Like... Minus, yeah, but it's very mathematical. I wanted to say it more in simple terms, but minus the money that Sue stole from her, you know, is, is zero. I wanted to say something like that, but maybe it's so complicated that it's easier to write it mathematically. So if anybody of you is not familiar with the system of linear equations, just raise your hand. Okay, so I will assume all of you are familiar. So this is a way of writing a, a system of equations. We will solve it afterwards. Uh, this may be the traditional way, but the way we're going to do it in this class is going to be something like this. So we will write here what I call a matrix. And here we will write down the variables, x and y, and we will put them equal to zero. So I don't know if all of you have ever seen this. Yeah, what is that? Way of writing things. OK. Can, can so I ask a quick question? Sure. It's not a student, but it's OK. A uh, what do we know before this? Do we already know how to multiply matrices? I don't know. What do you know? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you did that class. Ah, okay. So, do we already know or not? Do we already know matrices? Whatever you want. Matrix? I mean, I, I'm, yeah, I assume yes. Okay, so okay. we already know how to multiply matrices. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> yes. We've yeah. taken algebra too at some point. Okay. okay. So, wait. Okay, so, so this. So, we know what matrix is. So, we already know what matrix is. Okay, so, so I don't have to explain what is a matrix. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but I will explain maybe. Okay. Why is it multiply out equal to that one? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 maybe, yeah. maybe it's been a while before since I've done that. Okay, right? so wait. So we call this a matrix. I don't know if you know it is a vector, but a vector is mainly a set of numbers, you know, placed in a specific way. And it's actually, for me, very difficult to explain it in simple terms. For me, a vector is like yeah, a list. Uh, you know when you go shopping and you make your list, like you have to buy pears, apples. So every every term you write in a line, in, if instead of a sentence you wrote down a number, you would obtain this, a list of numbers. Okay. And then the simple operation tells you that if you have a matrix like this one, I don't know, 
and then you multiply it by, um, by a vector, there is a mathematical rule, then the kind of process you do is uh, like you take the first row of the matrix and then you multiply it by the vector in, in the following way. So you take, you take the, the row of the matrix and you kind of turn it, you flip it 90 degrees and then you multiply every element of, of, of one vector by every other element of that vector in the same height and you add them up. So in this case, for instance, if I multiply this matrix by this vector, I would do something like this. Y and in the second, the second row would have three times x minus one times y, and this would be a new vector. So we would do something like this: the vector, then I multiply them by these two. I take the vector and multiply them by this. Two. Uh, so excuse me. Where did the two come from? Which two? The one. Oh, oh, sorry. oh, is it? Oh, oh, okay. It's my handwriting problem. <coughs> oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, so what I mean to say is that the way to multiply a matrix by a vector is you take the vector, then you flip it, you put it at the same height, so there are, this vector has two elements, this first row of the matrix has two elements, then you multiply them, you multiply the first one by the first, then the first one, you and you add the second one by the second one. Question. And so the element-wise, the equivalence of the vector is the equivalence of the vector. Can you repeat that again? So the element-wise, Equivalence of vector is the equivalence of the vector. What is this undergrad student talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what is equivalence? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what is the equivalence of vector? The first element of a vector equals the first element, element of the other vector, and the second and so on. So the designs of the designs of the vector are the same. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't get there yet. I was just trying to explain first how to multiply this. But uh, my teacher didn't teach me this way. They don't turn that thing. They just row multiply column like. Oh, you can also do it like that. Row yeah. multiplies column. Like row and then column. So you move. Like what you said, but we never take the row and then put it as column. Okay. But those are the same, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can use any way okay. you want as long as the result is this. Okay. You know? So if the result is x plus y in the first row of the new vector, so this will give a vector which we can call view 1, view 2. I don't know if you see it here. I will assume you do. Okay. So as long as the vector resulting from multiplying this matrix by this other vector is x plus y, and in the second element of the vector you have 3 times x minus y, then no matter how you do it, it works. So, so we got this first part. Okay. <clears throat> so all this is just to, I'm trying to explain why an equivalent way of writing down this system of equations. So this is the matrix way of writing them down. I try to explain what is this. So the result of this, I will write it down in a nice way here now. It's exactly x plus y in the first term, and then 3x minus y in the second term. OK, so we got this. And then we, I wrote down this other part of the formula. And what this exactly means is that if we both agree that these are two vectors and that every vector is like a shopping list in which every element is like a line and this contains some information, this is a number, this is another number. When I write down the equality, it means that every, every element of the list must be equal to the element, to the corresponding element of the other list. So in this case, this is the first term of this list or vector, then it must be equal to the first term of this set other list or vector. And the same one for the last element of the list. Well, then must be equal. So this is, in mathematics, what we understand is equal, equal sign means exactly this, that x plus y must equal 3, and 3x 